kings and queens. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. Today I'm going to talk about seven fragrances that I have in my collection that I feel like are Valentine's date night appropriate fragrances. So here we go. My first choice, um, I feel like on Valentine's Day, like when you think of that special day, you think of roses, you think of chocolate, you think of romance, I think of diamonds, but um, so the first fragrance that I actually chose was Montal Intense Cafe. This is definitely a very sexy fragrance. Um, oh, I would definitely choose this on any cold night that I was going to be going out on a date, but what better an occasion to wear this than on Valentine's Day night, right? Montal Intense Cafe. Chocolate, roses. Um, my next favorite, or <laughs> my next choice actually, is actually a favorite of a lot of guys. Men love to smell this fragrance on a woman. So on a cold Valentine's night, Terry Mugler, Angel Muse. I choose Angel Muse over the original Angel because I just feel like it it's just a little bit softer and I feel like it's it's an easier wear. I do own the original Angel, but I always I always reach for this because this is so nice. It's a compliment getter and this is not too much for a close encounter. So Terry Mugler, Angel Muse. Now, my next choice, I think, um, if you've ever smelled this fragrance, then you know why it's on a list of fragrances that you would wear on a date night, and that is Maison Francis Kirkjean Grand Soir. This is rich. It's, oh, this is just... This is date night yummy, right? And a man or a woman could definitely pull this off on Valentine's Day night. Maison Francis Kirk Jean Grand Soir, a favorite of mine. Um, the next fragrance I chose that I often reach for on any date night, and that is Tom Ford's Effin' Fabulous. As I've said before, this fragrance is complicated, no doubt, but it is so damn sexy, right? Oh, I, I get tons of compliments on this fragrance and I compliment my damn self when I wear this fragrance because it is just, it's grown up. It's, it's a great fragrance. So Valentine's Day night, absolutely. Um... Now, my next choice is another Tom Ford fragrance, and um, this is a winter date night favorite of mine, and that is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Oh, this says, I'm here, you smell me, and I don't give a damn what you think. I smell yummy. <laughs> I love this fragrance, and... Like I said, on a cold winter night, when there's a slight breeze, I love to overspray myself in this and leave the house. Oh my goodness. Oh, Tom Ford Black Orchid. Now, the next fragrance I chose, I actually renamed this fragrance. Um, it is Fieve Deliciosi, Christian Dior. I call it sex in a bottle. Oh, I love smelling this. This fragrance is so damn good. I love to cover myself in this. I have never smelled this on a man, but I want to because I imagine, oh, I think this would smell great on a man. I think a man or a woman could pull this off on Valentine's night. I think this is close encounter it's i mean you can definitely smell it from a distance but it's not too much for a close encounter and it is an awesome fragrance awesome so Steve deliciosi christian dior 
Now, the last fragrance that I chose, you guys know, is a favorite of mine. It has been a favorite of mine for years. And that is Spiritualise Double The Knee. If I only had one fragrance that I was going to have for date night, close encounter, going out, dinner, happy hour, whatever, in the winter months, it would, no doubt, it would be Spiritualise Double The Knee. This is everything I love to smell like. It, it is just so good. And this is definitely a compliment getter. Again, this is definitely close encounter safe because, you know, you want to wear something that's close encounter safe on Valentine's night because, I mean, let's be clear, we're all hoping to have a close encounter, right? So... Spiritualise Double the Knee. Ugh, girl on. So, those are seven of my date night favorites. If you have a date night favorite that you plan to wear on Valentine's night, leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to know what those fragrances are that other people will be rocking on Valentine's night. So, thank you so much for listening to me. Until next time, be blessed and bye for now.